If you don't pick up everything off your floor, well, welcome to my review of the DreamBot L20 Ultra Robot Vacuum. And I'm super excited to share this with you because this machine that I have right next to me, it saves a lot of time. Because one of my biggest complaints about any robot vacuum is that a charger cable, a kid's toy can stop the robot from finishing its session. Well, no more because the DreamBot is a closer. It's one of the most automated robot vacuums you have ever seen or tried. It doesn't get confused by leaving laundry on the floor or your iPhone charger or your kids toys or shoes everywhere because this machine can figure it out. In fact, I'm pretty sure that my DreamBot L20 is smarter than my cat. For example, my cat will sometimes play with charging cables and sometimes will play with all the toys on the floor, but my DreamBot L20 can navigate around any obstacle in its path. So let's talk about some of the features that make the DreamBot L20 so automated. Features. The DreamBot L20 has a lot of features, so I'm going to highlight the most important ones. First, it uses 7,000 pascal of suction on max boost mode paired with a fast charging 6400 mega ampere hour battery. So you normally have about two to three hours of runtime on normal use. Now, if you have it at the quiet setting, that's going to give it somewhere close to 260 minutes runtime if you're only in vacuum or mop mode. But I highly doubt you'll always use it on quiet mode. So that's why I'm telling you honestly in our testing, we are getting somewhere between two to three hours, depending if we're mopping and vacuuming or just vacuuming. For mapping, it uses something called the Pathfinder Smart Navigation, which is a combination of LiDAR sensors and front-facing camera with AI detection and auto LED lights when it's dark. And you'll notice these features are so obvious when you use it because it's going to meet something and say, oh, it's an obstacle and it's going to be dark and it's going to turn on its lights. So the main feature is really the Duo Scrub and the Mop Extend. The L20 uses brushes that can rotate, they can go up and down. It can be left automatically inside of the clean base and they can extend outward, hence mop extend. The mop pads raise only about 10.5 millimeters, which is about one centimeter. So any carpet or rug taller than that, it's going to want to have the mop pads off or set the machine to remove them during its run. AI controls when the mop extends outward, which is really cool when you see it, you'll understand it. Now in terms of mapping, the app and the mapping work similar to other premium robot vacuums that uses LiDAR, because this is a combined system. And the DreamBot made a big leap from the L10 because of the precision and accuracy of the front-facing camera. The L20 has a hard time with items that are less than a half an inch tall. So it's like an iPad or even like a dish. So this is just going to try to monster truck over it. Just to keep that in mind, if you have one of those things on the floor, it's not going to break it. It's just going to really move it around. So the L20 dustbin is probably the most advanced dustbin we've seen. It's also the largest. This is similar size to a small refrigerator. But because of its large size, you have a very large tank inside for dirty water and clean water. And the dustbin here is going to be able to have a 3.2 liter uh, capacity. And you can see that it opens gently and it kind of hides itself so that you're not seeing that it has some type of clean station or bag inside so that it's going to look more premium. Materials on the base station are flat and well designed and they finally improved and increased the size of the base plate. Because this is larger, you have more traction for your robot vacuum to go back in and out of the base station. Something that is more difficult, especially when you consider that this is carrying two large mop pads. If we talk about real world use, you change the bag here probably every four weeks if you run the robot vacuum two times a week. The dustbin has it all though because this has auto mop cleaning, auto mop drying, auto water refilling if you connect it to a water line, and it wets the pad on its own. The base station is also much quieter than other base stations because of the shorter proximity between the robot vacuum and the bag. Previous versions of all these mop drying stations when they're just blowing cool air, so it took somewhere between eight Eight hours up. Here, because they're using hot air, you'll find it can dry within about four hours. Third, the DreamBot L20 has a number of smart features. It can map out your home, it can create a cleaning schedule, it can be controlled using the smartphone app, you can stop start cleaning, you can change the cleaning settings, it has something called Clean Genius, it has something called Ultimate Mode, you can check the vacuum status from anywhere, you can build the no-go zones and the virtual walls, and that's just a small fraction of all the features you get inside of here. 
My only real complaint is I wish DreamBot made it easier in order to just set an area specifically for vacuuming and setting an area specifically for mopping. It's a little bit difficult if you just want one area for mopping because then you have to create the room, you have to make sure that that area is just for mopping and you have to put it in a specific order. I wish it was like a shortcut there. Finally, let's talk about the front facing camera and the AI detection because this is next level. This is the future. You can download up to one minute clips of your robo vacuum in action. You decide when, but it can also be used as a remote control security device. And the video is pretty good because it's not pixelated and records in 684 by 480. It's not HD, but it's 480p and that's pretty nice here. And if you went on vacation, you could just set this on a task. It can go out. You can remote control it around your house and then it will record one minute clips at your control. And you have up to about three hours of battery life there just because this holds a charge for a very long time and after you're done with it you just send it back and it will go back home. The Dream Tech is also coming with a removable pop-off cover here. That's interesting because once I pop that out I have access to see the LiDAR navigation sensors here. You still have your home, your power, and your um, pathing buttons and this is going to be your waste basket. It's not huge here. This is not the largest waste basket we've seen, but it is not small by any stretch of the imagination. It is still using the HEPA air filter and I would say that this tank design is pretty common. It's not common is going to be the build quality here. You can see that all the finishes as well as the seals have been seamless and the molds, especially the plastic molds, are made to be beautiful. This pop cover is going to pop right on and off. And if you look at the bottom, they are giving you a self-cleaning, more pet style, much more like a S9 iRobot brush roll. It's not gonna be as wide as the S9, but this is gonna be a silicone brush roll with a catch. So it's not gonna be missing debris. It comes with heavy duty wheels for all terrain performance, especially around your home. So first things first, I'm gonna attach our side brush. This side brush is the only one on our unit. So they only give you one in the box as well. Next up is going to be just popping on our mop pads. These, you have the option, if you're not gonna be mopping, you don't have to pop them on. Now they're gonna be utilizing it with strong magnets. So the fit is pretty secure, but also easier to pop off than before. You don't have to screw anything in, just pop it in and it's gonna lock into place. If you look at the back of your base station, they do give you some wrap around cord hooks so that you don't have to have a lot of cord just jutting out of the back of the station, especially if you're right next to the plug, like in our case. I do love how the base station is so much bigger than the va vacuum, so it can lock in easily and find its home easy, better than I would expect on the L20. They made the docking station wider and they added these little traction grooves so that it can climb into the base station easier than before. So let's open up our base station and show you what you get inside. So this is gonna be very interesting. First, they give you instructions on how to clean it. So you have your dust tank cover lock. You have the clean the washboard system. So you just walk through these steps. You press the home button. You press and hold the release the home button for three seconds to add water to the bottom. You remove the washboard and rinse it with the clean water. And you pause the and hold the home button for three seconds to pump out the used water in the bottom of your base station. Dry with a soft and dry cloth and then push the washboard back. If you're looking at the dirty water tank, this will be your dirty water tank. And that's the area. They give you a little cover to hide that now they've included areas for your soap here. So that's where your soap is going. And they included a full-size brush to clean your machine with. This will be your clean water tank. It's quite large. So it would take a long time to use up all of this solution. Now, in terms of performance, I've been really impressed with the overall performance. It cleans my floors very well. It does a great job of picking up dust, dirt, and pet air. And I even ran it at night on quiet mode. And that's on my first floor. And it was quiet enough that I didn't hear it from the upstairs bedrooms. And it didn't wake up my two-year-old.
The mod pads are in contact contact with this high pilled 78 ounce carpet. So what I do recommend is removing the mod pads if you just want to do it in vacuum only, or you can have the machine get a sign to remove the mod pad before it vacuums the area. So let's take a look at the L20 on a high pill carpet with the mop pads attached. I created a mini obstacle course for our L20 with headphones, a smartwatch, some cables, a phone charger, an iPad, and some lotion bottle. So you're going to see how well it does. There's also various cords on my floor and it's just like a regular room. We're going to send it out now. Start cleaning. Here's the map that I currently have of the room. And there is the unit. Let's see how it does. We're going to speed this up just a little because it did take about 40 minutes for the DreamBot to vacuum this entire room with all the obstacles on the floor. The thing that we realized is that because there are so many obstacles, the DreamBot was unable to go in a consistent row pattern. So it went kind of like in a circular pattern where it detected something to its left and then it tried to avoid the things to its right. But in the end, it still was able to finish vacuuming the floor and did a very good job vacuuming all the surfaces around the items on the floor without getting caught up. And it ignored all of the extension cords on my floor as well. So overall, I am very happy with how the L20 performed in this test. It was the only one I've ever tried that actually performed well with all of these various size obstacles on the floor. Next, let's take a listen to how loud the self-emptying bin is and how long it takes for it to activate. And we got a lot of different particles on the floor, different sizes. And it's really up to our dream bot to conquer and take over and pick everything up off the floor. So this is a good test to see if 7,000 Pascal suction is going to make easy work out of this floor. What I realized running this test is that if you are using this on a high pill carpet as you see me doing and you have a lot of mess on the floor, what you're going to want to do is make sure to set it at a higher power setting. So that means in customized cleaning, just go inside of your settings and put it on max power or you could put it on a higher power level. The L20's fatal flaw is going to be on corners because it only has one single side brush roll and it's not utilizing those mops on carpet. It's not going to be able to pick up everything along those surfaces. And here you can see me controlling my L20 using the remote control and I could just navigate my room and decide when and what I want my unit to do or record. Now let's talk about how the mop works. So this is it mopping my kitchen and we allowed this mop to clean my entire first floor multiple times. And I could tell you this is probably the best mopping system that I've tried and it's because more so than just having the mop pads, it is that it doesn't get caught up on any specific areas and it can specifically target your hardwood or your hard floors over your carpet. And then it can remove the mop pads inside of its clean base or base station and then go back and finish the carpets off separately. So this is doing a great job and it, for mopping and vacuuming, you basically just use it on the clean genius mode. But if you want to go further, you can use it with ultimate mode which is then going to supersize how powerful the mop and everything the mop can do. And you can delineate which area you want to mop and which area you want to vacuum or mop and vacuum. There's just a lot more features inside of the ultimate mode. It's not necessary, but if you really want to use it, I think this is the best way to get your floors clean repeatedly all the time, every day. So the question is, should you buy the DreamBot L20 Ultra? And honestly, this is just the future. This is the future coming at you at 100 miles per hour and it's saying I can do it all because the most important features here are the ones that are not that obvious. I know Mop Extend is cool, but the really cool feature here is that the base station will automatically remove the mop pads prior to vacuuming your carpets. Something that I've always wanted on things like the Roborock S8 that I only, I'm being honest, I only saw it at CES. I haven't been able to test it yet. On the Yeetis and the iRobots and the Ecovacs and the Ufis and other brands, they just have not made it yet. 
And the AI detection finally means, and the quality of the AI detection, just like ChatGPT, it can really do a lot more than your expectations. So this is not gonna stop and it's not gonna get confused by something on the floor. I place my child's shoe in front of it. I place clothing in front of it and every single time it just ignored it and went around it so then it finished the session something you cannot say about every robo vacuum and the value of the l20 is not just that it's a good robo vacuum it is that it saves you a lot of time and time is irreplaceable time is literally right now you can't get it back and this is something that can save me time versus i can drive a little bit faster to costco but what if there's traffic what if i want to do my laundry the only appliances that you have in your home that really save you a ton of time let's be honest that you use on a daily basis is your dishwasher and your microwave this could be the third item and saving time is important for everyone but it comes at a steep price because i know that the l20 msrp is about 14.99 but i expect that to come down and that's because when i thought think about the history of these robots the irobot s9 when it came out with the clean base was like 14.99 and then now you could get it for 5.99 it is way down the prices are going down faster and faster and the future is here and i'm just happy that the future of robo vacuum is finally arrived and it makes everything easier and automated we've been praying for it we've been praying for the mop pads to be removable we've been praying for something that could dry the mop pads we've been praying for something that will always finish its session instead of getting caught and you know what they made one here for us and with that thanks for watching everybody i'll catch you next time if you have any questions leave them in the comment box and please hit that like or subscribe button it really does help support our channel and this is dave with the french glow signing off bye bye bye